Hello and welcome to my revisit of Gilmore Girls. The episode I'm going to be watching today is Season 4, Episode 21. Last week fights, this week tights. So thank you to Lucy for recommending the episode. Now what are my predictions for this episode? Well, I'm assuming the last episode of the show had some sort of fight between probably two of the men. I'm guessing Luke and um, the donor, the sperm donor. And maybe this week they're now putting on a play of some sort, a show or costume party. And those two are going to be in attendance. And our focus is going to be watching them resolve their differences and learning to coexist, I guess. Um, Lorelai might have to have some sort of sit down conversation with one of them to talk him down a little bit. I guess, but, uh, and maybe, hopefully, we get to see a lot more of the townsfolk. Yeah, that's my guess. Let's find out if I'm right. Boys, you go clockwise. Clockwise, can't you tell time? The other way, boys. Oh, I, I thought this was Lorelai. I don't call that a maypole. I'd call that a maybe not pole. What's with him? He's mad because I made Chrissy my dance captain over him. Kirk has 43 jobs. That's it? Just 43? Uncle Ruckus hasn't beat. I've seen Miss Patty get violent. It's not pretty. Remember that time? That's when she beat me up. Yeah, let's not repeat that. <sighs> Punk Planet? What the hell? Okay. He's in his lonely boy, sad boy era. These are not puny. If they're small enough to shove up our son's nose, they're too small. No way could you shove one of these up Davy's nose. That's a five bucks. Get him in here. Hey guys, you probably shouldn't shove a radish up your son's nose, just thinking out loud. Kung Fu Panda. Kids are in party mode, huh? The kids are clicking their heels like there's no tomorrow. And there is no tomorrow for those who do not have a final on Saturday morning, such as me. Jess. Oh, what about him? He's in town for that wedding and I've been seeing him. I was just wondering if you want me to tell you when I do. Sure. Really? Why? If you see him eight times in one day, you don't need to call me eight different times to tell me. That's clearly overkill. Sure. Why is there a horse in the background? You know what I should do? Run up, tell him I love him, then run away really fast. Taste of his own medicine. Don't do that. Don't do anything out of the ordinary. I won't, honey. I'm kidding. Is that safe? Michelle? Yes? Do you see the big nostril thing next to me here? The horse? Uh-huh, the horse. Uh -huh. It's been here for 20 minutes. Oh! Why? Hi, Cletus. Oh, so you already saw the horse? Yeah. Okay. New dragonfly in rule. If you see a horse in the inn, or any other large quadruped or biped or anything that's not, what's the word, human, figure, no one's doing anything about it, and, and do something. Damn, that's creaturist of you. Hitting the road, Glenn? Yep, and I got a hot date tonight. Who's the lucky girl? Oh, well, does he know? My girlfriend back home, wanna see her picture? Sure. Glenn, this girl is like 12 years old. It's her when she was little. What? Don't oh. make this into something <laughs> dirty. She drives and everything. Oh, Rory, perfect timing. Hey, I haven't seen you since day one. Hey, I'm leaving, guys. Rory, you get yourself a funky monkey. What? Wait, she was our roommate? Everyone poured all the alcohol they had left into a bowl, and that's what's in the cups. I thought it was Paris the whole time. They do look similar. Janet, wait, wait. I hate that our little clique is breaking up. It's so the end of something. You off your meds, Paris? You never get emotional goodbyes? With people I like. Wow, damn. So, I made a collage of photos of people in the building. I know they were enemies. There's Janet with her boyfriend, and Lana with hers. There's one of you, Rory. That's me. And uh, there you are again, Rory, with... That's a lamppost. Okay. Couples collages? What's the point? Oh, you've had quite the dry spell this year. I have not had a dry spell. There's not one picture of you with a guy. Why would that matter? What's this? Leonard Fleming. Asher's son. He's a terrific guy. Good looking, runs a mutual fund, newly divorced, and on the hunt. I don't think so. The apple didn't fall far from the tree. He is one hot apple, juicy to the core. I got it. Whoa, Paris, whoa. Don't feel sorry for me. I'm fine. And I don't want you to have a long, dry summer. Hey, yo. Push me a merry trip to jolly old England. Have a merry trip. And hey, if you call Leonard and one of his kids answers, hang up. They still think mommy's coming back. Oh, no. She's not staying the whole time? Ah. I liked her outfit, though. Girls are not supposed to be monogamous either. That's so unromantic. Oh, you can say that. You got lucky. Yeah, TJ is yum yum. Men are good for two things. Make that one, and the one thing, they're not that good. Okay. Who are these guys? Any idea if I'm doing this right? Most guys don't know if they're doing it right. Is this how turkey legs are supposed to look? I don't know. Take off your pants and let us see. Oh. Those ones are pretty large. I need to get some batteries. I'll be back. Jess! Jess, come over here and meet my. You guys, our first time seeing mom and son interact. Is Jess? Hello. Hi. 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 He's gonna walk me down the aisle. Is that cool or what? It's no big deal. Aisle. 
Oh, they're getting married? Get a package here. From who? I'm not expecting it. It's anything. a very important package. There's no address on it. Have fun. Have fun with what? This package is for Liz Danes. Oh, that, that's me. You set delivery? Uh, I guess. Oh, he's a stripper. Shake it in here. <laughs> 20th into one. I don't believe this, you rat. In the daytime, in a diner where everyone can see is crazy. I do find that very strange, though. Hiring a stripper to dance on you before you get married is a little weird. A little weird. Keep the change. Some Jess and Dean tension, yay. Playing different music. It's Blossom Deary. You don't like it? No, I like it fine. You've just never played it. You and Dad always play classical music. So when will you be done with your final tomorrow? Around noon, depending on how fast I write. Any friends left behind to keep you company? Girlfriends, boyfriends? No. Say 95% of the class is vamoosed. And you don't have a boyfriend? Not really. Why do you? Why does everyone keep bringing that up? Making a joke. I was just wondering, we haven't talked about your love life in a while. Don't. Where did you say dad was? In Philadelphia. Thanks, mom. Honey, you didn't mention that to me when we talked earlier. You just said he wouldn't be here. Well, a lot of his schedule these days has to do with Floyd, AKA your ex-boyfriend's father. So you'll be a free girl around noon. Around then. I want to be thinking about you right at that moment when the weight is lifting off your shoulders. If I were her, I, w I would take, I would take my granddaughter out for a celebration to end the school year. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna go to whatever your favorite food place is and buy you your favorite stuff and celebrate the year ending. Everybody has been pestering me about my love life this week. That was not about you. It was about evading my questions. It's a classic Sun Tzu art of war maneuver. If you're being attacked from the east, attack whoever's to your west. And you were the west. I've never read the book. It's full of crap like that. Sun Tzu art of war. The meme book. So, where were we? We were all about to switch to new subjects. Oh, okay. Dad hates chicken Kiev, doesn't he? Okay. Well, who called Groton? I didn't. Me neither. Someone in this Hey, the band. Someone in this room called someone in Groton at 11.37 p.m. on the 16th, and it wasn't me. That was the night you had those two trampy girls over, Zach. They weren't trampy. I heard one of them call her boyfriend and brag that she had scored some sucker beer. Damn. Where's Gail? Gail! Who is this? I'm here on your mother's behalf. She would like to visit. Here? A social call. Okay. If are three times, she can come this week. If none are convenient, she will offer three more. What? If those are not good, she will rescind the offer. Does this sound reasonable? What the hell? Very. Rory? You're done with your final, right? Yeah. Well, I had lunch today on campus with a friend, Cassie Sullivan. Okay. She's with the alumni committee. Didn't I mention it last night? No. Anyway, she has a son who's a freshman also. Uh, trying to set her up? Only thing you should be setting her up with right now is food. What are you doing? Graham! Not a boy. Yeah. This is Rory. Rory, Graham. Hi. Graham's family and ours go way back. I remember this young man in diapers. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to introduce the two of you ages ago. Alcohol, on your breath. Graham mentioned that he and his group were going out tonight to celebrate, and he thought you might like to go. Yeah. Would you like to go? Um, mm. sure. Wonderful. I actually tried to get your grandmother to go too, but she made up some dumb excuse. <laughs> oh, you're something else, you know that. <laughs> Bye, Rory. Bye, Grandma. Okay, well, lesson number one. Never, ever let anybody outside of your family see you in diapers. You were young. <clears throat> oh, you don't have to do that. Oh, I just taped up eight of my own. How do you know she was done filling out the box, though? I'm a box taping machine. Use me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Use me is crazy. There'll be about ten of us. You're totally welcome to come. Don't you have a full ink mirror? They'll need one. You don't like looking at your bottom half? I love looking at my bottom half. Oh, he's in way better shape than I thought he'd be. What? He's very nervous. I'm not nervous. Every time you put a shirt on. Why, am I getting you hot? <laughs> I am loving these tights. They're fantastic. They lend support everywhere you need it, but they breathe. This one. Thanks. Hey, Luke, I had to borrow your deodorant. I hope that's okay. Allow me. Greetings, my lord. Oh, okay. So the wedding is a party. It's a, as a theme. You look nice. I'm loving the tie. Thanks. You look beautiful. Flattery will get you everywhere, my friend. Okay, Lorelai. Okay. 
What's this? Surely these be time travelers from the- Oh my god, it's the dad from Wizards of Waverly Place. I got a patio furniture store down in Nutley. What? Mr. Russo. Hi, Lucas. Who is this? Oh, she's interested. Very stayed home. Who? The ball and chain. I'm flying solo tonight. Save a dance for me. Uh, I don't dance. Okay, so she's married. Huh? Hey, how about we work on him together? <laughs> I think there's a hoofer buried deep inside there, don't you? Work on him together is crazy. So, um, there's gonna be a little delay. Liz ripped her dress and it's gonna take a while to fix it. I'm supposed to spread the message. Well, spread it, Karen. The message. <laughs> She makes me very uncomfortable. I know the feeling. Patty, you have a sewing kit? Oh, yeah. Right here, sweetie. I'm holding everyone up. No, no. Hey, today's... It's your day. Yeah. You look great. It's normal to be nervous on your wedding. No, mm, no, I'm not a fan of the dress. What was your wedding like? Were you this nervous? Never been married. You got a kid. Found a way around that. I see. You want to get married? Oh, now, Liz, it's inappropriate for you to propose to me on your wedding day. Oh. <laughs> But do you want to get married? You must want to get married. I, I guess so, you know, if I meet the right guy. <sighs> you could be married for 50 years, for most of your life. She wants to fuck your brother. I could be married most of my life to him. Isn't that weird to think about? Yeah. I don't want to screw up this marriage even more than I want some pot. That's how serious I am. Hmm. Pot? They know we can't we can reference such, such hard drugs on this show. Oh, you broke her daughter's heart? Oh, I... Uh... No, no, he didn't. It just didn't work out. Good, because I don't want him to be like his father breaking hearts. I want him to be like TJ, or my second husband, or like my boyfriend after my third husband who died. They were good guys. Well, you're all done. <laughs> Perfect! Oh, she's a miracle worker. And thank you. You're going to make a great wife someday, and a great sister-in-law to some very lucky girl. Uh... Yeah. Come on, Luke's waiting. Unless my friend Carrie suffocated him with her boobs. Well, that would be festive. That's a good way to go out. Oh, you look absolutely beautiful. Oh, Rosa's nice. Does she remind you of someone? No. Oh, flippity flip. Light work. Now that's impressive. These tights, I'm telling you, they're the best. Oh, he looks good in that. I'm happy, my boys are happy, and they don't ride up. Hey, still dry. Thanks, buddy. That's a good look right there. He's 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 outdoing the Brian. Damn, he's not dressed for it. Come on now. She looks happy. Yeah, she does. She looks hot. Smoking. Don't you say that. <laughs> As kids, we shared our toys with all the girls and boys. Okay, is that the town um, thingy? What guy? Clue mouse trap. Troubadour or something, whatever it's called. Aerograph, kaleidoscope spinning. Yahtzee, I'm winning. Think of how we laughed. Yahtzee, I'm winning is crazy. For love is the greatest toy around, around, around. Oh, you may plant the ceremonial sword. He looked at the camera. Touchdown. Liz, do you want to tell TJ how you feel? Yes. TJ. Yeah. You have been so good to me. I don't know where I'd be without you. I'd be worse off, I know that. You're something else. Nice. TJ. <laughs> well, I wrote something down, but for all the good points about tights, and there are a lot, they don't have pockets. So I gotta go off the cuff. <laughs> I love you. Oh, that wasn't so funny. No, nah, that wasn't funny at all. Hi, Mama. Hello, Lane. Multigrain soy pudding. Extra chunky the way you like it. Okay. I bet we'll all like it. We? Oui. Come in, Mama. Mama? These are my remains. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Kim. Welcome. There's no way I could afford a place on my own, so we live together. We share all the expenses and the bathroom. Oh, no. Mom is panicking. These are my bandmates. Mom is panicking. Zach, would you make us some tea? I'd be delighted. I'll get the cups. How about a tour? This is the living room. This is my room. Uh, window's broken, but the landlord's on it. Okay. Where is she going? Harry! 
he's got turkey legs. Panic attack, I guess. They were boys. What? Where? At Lane's. Two boys, one with hair. Uh oh, okay, you went to Lane's? And the place, broken furniture and dirt and boys and a broken window and boys. Slow down. And one of them's gonna give her some babies. <laughs> I didn't stand alone in a room with two boys until I was... I've never done that. This is Kim, you know why the boys were there. She's dirty. She's not dirty. She was trying to be up front with you, and that's good. She could have hid them from you, and she didn't. Mm. I've met those boys. They're innocent. As innocent as if she was living with two girls. So think of them that way. What way? Think of them as girls. Girls? Girls. I don't like girls either. Why? Well. Wow. Girls. Yeah, think of them as two tall, gawky, caring, sometimes unwashed girls. 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 People think prison's a waste of time, but prison's the best thing ever happened to me. Interesting. Picked up skills. Metalworking. Laundry, that's a skill. Okay. It's like a marketing thing. Don't call them tights. You guys don't want to wear tights. Call them air pants. Here's your slogan. Air pants. The pants that breathe. I'm telling you, we've got to get in on the ground floor of this. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You say goodbye before you leave. I'm just going to get more food. Uh, I promise. Come on, let's get some chow. Oh, you want to know something weird? What? When I was at Miss Patty's, Jess was there, and he had his backpack, and I saw this book. It was a self help book with some goofy title like learn to love or how to love when you're unloved or something like that <laughs> isn't that bizarre i don't know <laughs> well maybe he's just trying to learn something better okay <laughs> have you seen this book no, i i know nothing about this book oh he gave it to him huh? those kinds of books are idiotic not if they help people i can't I can't believe you're not mocking this book, which is so pathetically mockable. Well, maybe it's more pathetic if people don't try. And maybe he's trying. You ever think of that? No. He can read whatever he wants to read. Mm. I forgot to get something to drink. You need something to drink? I'm fine. Okay. He gave him the book, huh? <laughs> no way. No way. Duke is going to dominate the ACC again. No way. Williams? Reddick? Grant, Reddick has a 96% free throw average. It's a done deal. Reddick? Is in JJ Reddick? That's crazy. You're not drinking. I guess this was JJ's college time, college era. Now he's a podcaster. Let's go. We just got here. What's a pub crawl without the crawl? Who's got my keys? Go ahead. He's driving? He's one of the best drunk drivers in Connecticut. Oh my god. You ready? Actually, I just think I'm gonna take off. What? Yeah, I'm kinda tired. Rory. Thanks for everything. Well, do you want me to drive you home? Hell no. Well, you need money for a cab? I got money. I feel kind of bad. Don't. Okay. Excuse me, is there an ATM here? Uh, a few blocks down. I wouldn't walk though, it gets dicey at night. Uh oh. Who's gonna come save us? She's gonna call Jess? I'm kind of stuck and I'm. Well, I didn't know who else to call. Oh no. It's Jess. Mama. I'm back. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Come in. This will clean up. Window will be fixed. Temporary fridge. You two are girls. <laughs> Hope ye took much pleasure in Kaja Gugu. Methinks Oingo Boingo will soon make us an appearance. Oh no. Let's clear the floor for our happy couple. F. I like this. I love to see you juggle sometimes. I'm a big fan of juggling. He, uh, he juggles for money. It's a respectable profession. No, I didn't mean to make fun of Jess and what he was reading. Maybe it's good that he had it. It's okay. Liz and TJ wouldst enjoy others to join them in their modest wriggles. Oh, hey, so your food's probably cold. You want to go get some more? Sure, we can, you know, we can dance. You want to dance? Hit it out of the park. Really? Yeah. You said before you don't dance. He knows you can. Um... Okay, yeah, let's dance. Hit it out of the park. I don't dance. I know you can. Not a chance. If I can do this, girl, you can do that. But I don't dance. Come on. Hey, bad, bad, hey, bad, bad, a swing. Oh, look at them. Falling in love and stuff. My brother back there is out doing them. He's out doing them back there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Oh, uh, left, right, uh, right, left. Yeah. Left, right, uh huh, right, left. Yeah. 
Oh, she called Dean. I'm shocked. Oh, thank God, a friendly face. What happened here? Oh, I feel so stupid. I was on this date. Oh, yeah? It was a boy that Grandma saw in diapers, and she... <laughs> well, let's see. I have no money. I've got money. Okay, Richie. But you're rich. Here. Oh, death, sorry. <laughs> this going on your tab? The card at the counter? It's still open. Put your wallet away. She looking kind of young. The waitress. Her arms are something. In the most not weird way. This is fun. Yeah, it was. Hard to figure out which part of the evening was my favorite. The minister making out with Crazy Carrie, or TJ's brother making out with Crazy Carrie, or that last guy making out with Crazy Carrie. Who was that guy? I think that was her husband. Oh my god. That might be the dance. Really? Have you been taking lessons? That was all God given talent. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, it was. Oh my god, just make out. We should do it again. Yeah, yeah. Have fun, you know, like a movie or something. I didn't think you were a movie guy. I can be a movie guy. You like movies. Don't be nervous, buddy. Next week. Sunday? Sunday? Okay, good. Good, good. Step up to her one time and say, hey, I need you in my life. You leaving? Yeah, just kind of hanging around, see if I catch you. Good, I'm glad you did. You say goodbye to your mom? Yeah, we're good. I want to pay you back. You don't have to. And I appreciate it. Everything. Well, it's good to hear, but I kind of knew that. Yeah, but in a relationship, it's important to let the other person know you appreciate them so you don't create barriers that... Ah, uh, the book. ...delay any hope for reciprocation. I think I read that somewhere. <laughs> You're hoping for reciprocation? You got it. I'm here, Jess. I'm always here. Hug. Uh, Thanks. Hug, 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 no! Yeah, we go. I was gonna say, pull him in. Yeah. Did I work out? Ty was perfect. <laughs> Luke looked mad handsome right there. I think it was the uh, the fatherly energy he was giving off. See you in there? Yeah. First semester poli sci. This campus is huge. Is it? Because we only ever see this damn walkway. God, man, it's good to get out. It's good to laugh. I laugh tonight. You're funny. I can be funny. That's what I just said. Yeah. Well, yeah. This is my room. I know. Oh, right. You've been here before. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait did he help her move in or something? How is it that you can be out like this here with me or with anyone for that matter? Where does Lindsay think you are? She thinks I'm out. Out where? Doesn't matter. Yes, it does. What are you- Oh my god. I need to talk to you. Jess. I need to talk to you. What's going on? What are you doing here? Rory, please. Rory? Go. Go home. No. Yes, go. You should go. Dean, you're married, man. You lost this fight. Rory. What do you want? I don't know. I just wanted to see you, talk to you. I just- What? Come with me. Looking very Kristen stewart -y right there. Where? I don't know. Away. Are you crazy? Probably. Okay, I know about this. You don't think you can do it, but you can. You can do whatever you want. It's not what I want. It is. I've heard this conversation referenced before. Don't know well, look, me. We'll go to New York. We'll work. We'll live together. We'll be together. Hey, yo, back up. No. Oh, look, I want to be with you, but not here. Not this place. Not Stars Hollow. Back up. To start new. There's nothing to start! Yeah... You're packed! Your stuff is all in boxes! It's perfect! You're ready! And I'm ready! I'm ready for this! You can count on me now. No, you are not. No, you couldn't count on me before, but you can now! You can! No! Look, you know we're supposed to be together! No, you're not. No! No, 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 no! But don't say no just to make me stop talking or make me go away! Only say no if you really don't want to be with me! No! Yeah, buddy, it's time to go. To the left, after the hug from Luke, man. So that was Gilmore Girls. I'm actually kind of surprised how much I like this episode. Um, obviously, no, no, no fists flying, but something about the way the characters were like connecting with each other this episode, I really liked. I guess it's because there wasn't as much conflict of characters arguing with each other, maybe. And yeah, good for Jess trying to become a better person until the very end, I guess. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.